In this video, we are going to review the CR Wave Room for OnePlus 70 device, which I taught you how to install in my previous video. So, if you are watching this video first before installing the Room, and if you want to in still install the Room after watching this video, so there will be a video on top right corner. Just click there and just install this Room if you want to try it out. And if you are new to my channel, a sub to the channel will be really appreciated. So, without wasting further time, let's head straight to the video. So, my name is Rohit, and you're watching SnapTech. So, let's get started. So the first thing that you will notice after installing this room will be the Android 12 interface and if you are moving from Android 11 to this room it might be something new for you and just because of its minimal look and just minimal layout everything works pretty well and pretty smooth than the previous Android 11 as we know that OnePlus 70 didn't got the Android 12 upgrade yet and we don't even know whether we are going to get it updated in future so this might, this is the only chance we can just upgrade our device to android 12 and just experience that android 12 on our oneplus 70 device and as it's based on a stock room there's very minimal pre-loaded apps like with we see with the commercial version like we get a lot of preloaded apps and it takes some of your storage and some of them you can't even uninstall but this comes with really no apps at all you just get the google play services as well as play store rather than that it also doesn't comes with the google play games which you need to install later and many other softwares which we actually see with the commercial version of oneplus 70 as being a custom room it also comes with a lot of customization option like the one we see in the basic custom rooms like you can pick the status bar you can also pick many of the things which you can't actually do in your stock os apart from that overall performance of this room is really nice really good but everything comes with a flaw and there are some of them which i would like to mention before continuing with our video so the first thing the first problem that i faced in this room is the buggy fingerprint sensor like the fingerprint sensor doesn't work like 90% of time it won't detect your fingerprint even after when you enroll it in your device like currently even if i take this out and you see that i have enrolled my fingerprint but if i just press it it won't detect it and it won't get unlocked of course like it is a bug which i faced while after installing this room secondly we also don't see the face unlock feature in this room like even before this room the one i installed was Durfest. And even in Dovefest, we were not having the face unlock and I don't know what's the problem and if anyone of this Android 12 custom room developer is watching this video, so I please request you to provide at least face unlock if the fingerprint is being buggy and it will be easier for us to unlock the device by not actually pressing the pin every time we want to unlock it. But apart from that, it also comes with a lot and lot of features such as you've got a really good working AOD always on display and it got a really cool animation when you will just when you will just unlock your device and it goes to the aod mode it got a really nice wavy look which is really enticing to your eyes and secondly you also get an option of oneplus settings with which you can customize the overall volume slider which we get to see with our oneplus 70 device and you can actually just configure the whole slider menu like you want how you want to keep it if you want to keep it default which is the ring on the bottom part middle it must be on vibrate and not top it will be complete silence or if you want you can just tweak it to however you want and just play along with it apart from that got a really good score on a geek benchmark when i tried it and when i run some tests it was pretty close and almost similar to the actual stock room and if we are talking about the performance so to test it out i installed some of the top end games which we get on our android devices such as asphalt 9 bgmi call of duty and i just ran all of the games on this device and it worked really well on this custom room and i didn't see any of the glitch even in the best setting possible and if you want i can even make a separate video on just a separate gaming performance of this device by playing one or two round of each games further it comes with a wildvine l3 security patch rather than l1 and we know that it's not good as many of the features are not working with this room such as such as google pay and many of the banking apps doesn't support the wildvine l3 security patch and even if there are some problems with the netflix as well so if you are trying out this room just for fun or you can wait some time to upgrade to the latest version or the newest version of this room and if they add a patch of wildvine l1 it will be really great and it will be really useful and we can actually think of using this room as a daily driver Further on talking about the camera performance just like other custom rooms even the stock camera that comes with this custom room is not that good like it literally it's not at all good not that good I won't say that so if you want you can just install Gcam on this Android 12 like if you don't know how to do that there will be a link on top right corner I made a separate video for that and 
and the one amazing feature which i got to see in this custom room which i usually don't see in any custom room which i installed previously was a good audio quality when you're hearing something on speaker like i experienced it previously in many of the custom rooms that the speaker quality gets downgraded somehow but i'm not sure why and how it happened but after installing this room and after using it actually i used it while watching youtube and stuff on speaker and the audio quality was crisp and clean and the one i can just compare with the stock room so if you're okay with having some of the issue with the face unlock fingerprint sensor and if you're okay with having a wild wine l3 security level then i think you should give this room definitely a try but it's too early to say that you can use it as a daily driver as i know that i'm not using as a primary phone if i would have been using it i would have changed to some other custom room until unless there will be a new release or new version of this room where there will be a wild wind l1 security level so if you watched the video till here then a sub to our channel will be really amazing so i think this is it for this video this was my review for the android room based on android 12 for one plus 70 device so if you want to know how to install the DOFS OS, it is based on Wildwind L1 security and it's also based on Android 12. Just click on the video on right and if you want to see its review, just click on the video on left. So my name is Rohit and I will meet you in the next one. Snaptech signing out.